how would I describe the fort? Well, uh, the fort's a, a bit of a jungle. The fort is dirty. <laughs> That's the first thing that came to mind. The fort is a neighborhood right off of UT's campus, and it's filled with lots of college students. It's filled with parties. You can find a lot of solo cups, a lot of cans on your walk into church on Sunday morning. If you want to get to the kind of throbbing heart of East Tennessee, then the fort is the place to do it. You'll find rich people, middle class people, students, homeless, the working poor, all of them are here. And they're all superimposed on each other. It's this weird juxtaposition of being so vibrant and so broken down at the same time. One of the things I love about Redeemer is our neighborhood. I love that we are in the fray of everything that's going on here. Being able to be right in the midst of it has made me realize that there's just a lot of opportunity here for us here at Redeemer to reach this community. It gets me outside of myself and what I'm frustrated about, or it's a college student who I see walking, it's just so different than pulling into a parking lot and walking straight into the sanctuary, which I think is really neat because that's not what most churches are like. There's a sense in which we're challenging prevailing culture, I think, here in Fort Sanders, but then there's another sense in which we're upholding uh, things that students hold dear, you know, the ideas of justice and love. And so I really appreciate the chance just to be right here where so many people live, such a dense neighborhood, and bear witness.